I made it. I made it. I'm here. So, as promised, I figured that I would do a quick little video of some of the different things that I experienced, some of the different things that I used, a review of some sorts on some of the stuff, and uh, kind of go from there. So, um, if you haven't followed along, you need to follow along. I recommend that you go online and look up hashtag trail on tap. That's hashtag T R A I L O N T A T. So you can take a look at some of the pictures and videos. If you don't feel like doing that, long story short, <clears throat> is I went from here, Columbia, South Carolina, all the way to Port Orford, Oregon, which is the westernmost tip of or Oregon. And I did it on the Transamerica Trail, which is 85% off-road trail that leads from Andrews, North Carolina, all the way to there. I stayed on the trail for the majority of the time, with the exception of a few times that I had to get off due to either snow or road closures. So most of the time was spent off-road on that trail. It's roughly about five or 6,000 miles. From there, I went down the Highway 101 into Los Angeles, California, over to Hollywood, California. And then from there, I went to the Mojave Desert. Then I went to Nevada, from uh, Nevada, or Las Vegas. And then I went from Las Vegas over to uh, the Grand Canyon and played around in that area. Zion National Park went into there. <laughs> Came back down to the Four Corners, went in Amarillo, Texas, and then booked it all the way home. I finally made it home uh, Saturday at about 8 a.m. in the morning. I left April 11th and then came home then. It is now um, May 15th, and I came home on May 13th. So, uh, pretty cool stuff. So, anyway, I wanted to go through uh, through the Forerunner and kind of show you uh, some of the different things and how it looks now that it's, uh, that it's back after 12,000 some odd miles. So let's take a look. Um, the tires I upgraded, I tried to get Nitto to actually let me get a set of tires to use for the trip. They were not interested at all. As a matter of fact, did not even slightly respond to my inquiry about that. And I think I found out why. These Nittos, I am not impressed with at all. I've had Nittos. This is the fifth set of Nittos that I've bought. And I've always bought the same kind. Although I've never used them quite as much as I use these. Now, let me go into detail why I do not like these tires. So as far as the overall grip on the Nitto Terra Grapplers, um, I was somewhat impressed with it. It was okay. I didn't have any real issues when it came to grip. I did get stuck in the snow a couple times, but that was out of my own fault. I got stuck in the sand, but I was able to uh, decrease the air pressure and get out of the sand in Oregon. What I'm upset about is a couple things. One, they've only got 12,000 miles on them, and every single one of them, has these cracks you see them every single one of them has those cracks and also if you notice they're worn down a good bit after only 12,000 miles but the most disappointing thing is the fact that these were punctured five times along the trip and I never ran over anything that you would think would puncture them so when I say it was punctured, it was punctured by little itty bitty rocks and little itty bitty pieces of shell rock and stuff like that uh, that just were able to just to slide right on through. One or two punctures I may have understood throughout the journey because it was an off-road journey, but five times is just a bit ridiculous. Again, to the rear. And by the way, I've rotated these and kept them at the spec tire pressure just like I was told to. This is after only 12,000 miles. Notice the little cracks almost look dry rotted. That's on every tire. Moving on to the right rear. Notice the cracks again. Notice the wear. Pretty bad, only 12,000 miles. Again, I was not dissatisfied with the grip or the noise of the tire. I thought that that was okay. What I was dissatisfied with is the durability of the tire is just not there. 
And to be completely honest with you, I would have rather spent the less money and got the general tire. And the only reason I didn't is because I'd had good luck with these in the past. Nitto, I'm not impressed at all with your tire. Again, this is the Terra Grappler G2. 12,000 miles. Cracked all the way around. And punctured five times. On dirt roads. So, yeah. So, I'm not happy with the Nittos.